up yours gaming. Uh, I mean, one up gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am the obsessive compulsive gamer. Joined once again by my faithful manservant slash fucktotem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review. For Martha is dead. Oh, that's so sad. What did she die of? Did she accidentally sit on a great white shark? My cousin did that. It's the name of the game, you idiot. Oh. And remind me later to ask you about your cousin. That sounds very amusing. Oh, her body was a mess. They could only bury one of her breasts. Ha <laughs> ha, splendid, splendid. Well, not for her, obviously. So, Martha is Dead releases on the 24th of this month. And this is a... Um, is this a horror game? Uh, no, Bertram, actually, it's a first-person lovemaking simulator. Of course it's a horror game. So, story, which I will deliver in the style of Barry Burton from Resident Evil. <clears throat> what is this? Blood? I hope this isn't Martha's blood. Martha is Dead is a dark first-person psychological thriller set in 1944 and tells the tale of Martha, who is dead, and her sister, not Martha, who is not dead. Um, who is dead? It's Martha. Oh my god! She looks like she was pecked to death by a crow or something. Um, that was the worst impression of Barry Burton from Resident Evil I have ever heard. Shut up, Bertram! Now in a nutshell, this game is all about finding out what happened to Martha. And you do this by exploring your house and the local woods finding documents, taking pictures, and developing said pictures. Um, you take pictures of me when I use the toilet. Shut up, Bertram! Now the game also features nightmare sequences, and these are more disturbing than that time I caught my Aunt Bertha using my shower. Um, what's so disturbing about that? Well, it turns out she wasn't Aunt Bertha at all. She was my Uncle Bertha. If you catch my drift. Uh, oh! Now there is also a sequence in this game where you have to translate a message written in Morse code into English. Now I could not understand the game's instructions for this, so I had to resort to using a bloody online Morse code translator. Oh wow, you really can get anything on the internet these days. Yes, quite. I was able to buy my third and fourth wife from eBay. And to return the fourth one, though. Um, why? Well, she was damaged in transit. Oh. So, sound. Now, an amazing song plays over the title screen. In fact, all of the music in this game is fantastic. So much so that I will definitely purchase the vinyl to play on my trusty gramophone. Um, couldn't you just download it on Spotify? Spotify? 
Spotify? I know not of this Spotify. Sounds like something ugly teenagers put on their face. Um, it's a website you can listen to music on. I know that, you twit. I was being ignorant. Oh, and um, how is the voice acting? Well, the game defaults to Italian voice acting. But then, how the hell would I understand what's going on? So I changed it to the English voice acting. Um, couldn't you just turn on the subtitles? 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 I know not of these subtitles. Sounds like someone who likes visiting dominatrixes. Um, well, they display the dialogue on screen. I know that, you moron. I was being ignorant again. Oh! And speaking of the voice acting, it's mostly awful. Frankly, I've heard better acting in a commercial for thrush cream. And that should segue nicely into me telling you everything that is wrong with this game, dear viewer. Now, firstly, the game looks like ass, and sadly plays like it too. You can ride a bicycle in this game, and it too controls like utter ass. I had an easier time riding an epileptic while they were having a fit than I did riding the bicycle in this game. Um, my second cousin ate a whole bicycle once. What second cousin? Oh, that one that suffers from pica. Um, yes. How did you know? Call it a lucky guess. Um, do you think our viewers will know what pica is? Oh yes, good point. Well, <clears throat> pica means someone who eats things not usually considered food. So toys, rocks, jewellery, buildings... Well, maybe not that last one, but you get my point. Now, in this game, Martha is dead. I experienced eight crashes and numerous glitches while playing the game. At one point, I even ran into a game-breaking bug that wouldn't let me progress until I started the chapter I was on from the start. Oh, that's annoying. Yes, quite. Now this game is more broken than a hooker's hymen. Now maybe the developer will fix all of this with a day one patch, but... I won't hold my breath. Um, because it's dangerous? Uh, no, because it will make me spontaneously ejaculate. Of course, because it's dangerous. So, overall, this game has some nice, scary sequences, but overall is a damn mess. Therefore, I'm going to give Martha is Dead three pairs of soiled underpants out of ten. Well, haha, <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Martha is Dead. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, oh well, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. But remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. <sighs> Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram.